Hi, my name is Eric Graham. I am the AP Stats instructor. I've been a teacher at Brebuff for about 30 years, and I have taught AP Statistics since 2004. A lot of students ask me about why they should take AP Statistics, and I, I tell them the same thing every time, and that is we currently live in an unprecedented age of information that we are bombarded daily by raw numbers, graphs, charts, prediction lines, surveys, and polls. And it is important for everyone to be an educated consumer of statistics. Data that is collected properly and interpreted correctly represents the truth. And if it is not, then the results are of no use at all. So a basic cursory knowledge about statistics helps everyone discern the difference. So we learn the major concepts and tools for collecting, analyzing, and drawing conclusions from data. We will explore statistics through discussion, activities, surveys, polls, and experiments. Students always ask me what are the expectation, how much work can they be expected to do, how hard is it, uh, and I will tell them the same thing, and that is homework is important in all math classes, but especially in AP Stats. Every problem they get will be a story problem. It'll be pulled from real data. Daily homework is given and expected to be completed by the due date. Most homework questions need context and require complete sentences to answer. That's not normal in a math class. All chapter tests will be split equally between multiple choice and free response questions. And the reason why I do this is because it mirrors the actual AP Stats exam. However, it is a different style of assessment than traditional math courses, and so it takes some time for students to acclimate to that. Uh, you don't get any partial credit for multiple choice. So that's um, something that they got to get used to. But homework is the most important thing. You got to stay on top of homework. Most importantly, I want my students to do well on the AP exam so they can receive college credit. A student must earn at least a three on the AP exam to get college credit. Uh, you can see I have a chart here over the last four years, the average per buff score versus the average global score. One of the things that I love about teaching AP Stats is um, coming up with real life examples that relate to everybody's life. Um, and sometimes it's difficult, but there is usually an example no matter where your interests lie or no matter what subject uh, you're talking about. And I had, did have a former student who asked me if I could come up with a way that stats was involved in British literature, which I thought might be a stretch, but to my surprise, I found one. And that was when there was a sonnet that was discovered in the mid eighties. And the author of the sonnet was supposedly William Shakespeare because it had been signed by William Shakespeare, but they didn't know if it was real or not. And then a Harvard, Harvard, um, statistician came up with a way to determine whether it was actually written by Shakespeare or not. So even British literature can be related to st statistics. If you have any questions about AP statistics, feel free to email me at egram at Thanks.